What is up, guys? So, I have been doing some more labbing, and more labbing we shall do. Hold on. I, do I, I don't have the timing down. Hold on. I did last night. Hold on. Actually, maybe it's more so the spacing. Yeah. I hardly ever lab with Pyra. So... I need to get that done. Honestly, this isn't the best stage. I was just doing stuff yesterday, but like the fact that those platforms actually makes it a little bit more difficult. Let me go fix that. But how do you do? And welcome back to Nevenit's Mithra Pyra labbing. Trying to get really good with these characters so I don't neglect my regular training mode. Like I said, I'm a training fiend. It's not so much about the combos, though. Like, I do love combos, like... But, um, it's more so... For me, it's more so theory crafting because I can... I can execute. So, whenever there's a new combo show, show, that shows up, I just usually let other people figure that out and then I copy because it's like... I'm going to do all that work when I can work on more important things right now, like neutral. Okay, so... My timing is okay, but... I think my spacing is off. Hmm. Okay. Okay. A little better. I think it's like right above them? Because they she pops out to the right. See, she goes like diagonal upright, but... That doesn't necessarily mean I want to be there. That's a little difficult. Wait, if I footstool... <laughs> I imagine a footstool jab lock. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Oh no. Because the sword is still out, so I can't do it immediately. I forgot. Okay. It's an interesting idea though. I am not getting anywhere with this. It's one of those things where I just kind of have to figure it out. And then keep doing it. Okay, honestly. It's about five hits I'm hearing. So at the fourth hit, I probably already... Three. Want to be in the air. One, two, three, jump. Then... Oh, I fast fell for no reason. Three, then jump. Yeah. I think my spacing is just off now. Okay, so I want to jump a four here. There we go. Okay. Honestly, th this is faster, but I don't need to be at max speed for this. Just having something that's easy to input, like just hold, run, forward, and then do it at the same time each time is just going to up my consistency, most likely, so. That was good, I just fat fingered the other trigger. Okay, so. Is my, I think my footstool angle is off now. <laughs> I got it there. I mean, I don't think straight down is the proper angle. I think it's like, like that, that should be. See, I'm too far, but there's also a slight chance that it doesn't work on Violet. That worked. I got it. I'm just. <laughs> I know where she's gonna go, so I can get that. Oh, one more time. I don't know why she went so far this time. Oh, I didn't run. Wait. Okay, I forgot there was a delay to the run. Is that footstooler in the middle of it? Hold on. Oh, if I can just footstool her early. Ideally, you want to wait till she pops out because, um... Because... Wow, I'm getting those. Oh! Oh! The spacing! It, okay, so this is a concept. I don't know what sleep learning... I don't know if there's a... I think there should be a scientific term for sleep learning. 
but I definitely you ever seen Ko? K.O. The character from uh, World Trigger. I legit feel myself. The point is that just like this man, I legit feel myself having better spacing and consistency once I go to sleep and wake up. Because I was practicing the spacing of, of stuff yesterday, and now I'm just like. <laughs> Now I'm just hitting everything. Except for that. I'm probably dead too. Oh no, I'm good. Honestly, I should be lapping like back away from ledge stuff because. Or not drop from ledge, but like specifically back away because it gives me different follow ups and stuff like that. It's like essentially faster to hit certain angles instead of just drop and swing. Maybe safer too. Can land on stage. Also, I'm laughing, um, Nair stuff. Nair doesn't combo at zero that well. Actually, that's according to the training counter. So this probably still works, honestly. But, I mean, no one... I've, I've rarely seen one <laughs> break out of Mithra combos, but, um... It'll be a while before I really know what works and what doesn't. Is she dead? Oh, okay. That combo, I didn't mean to do that, but because it, it buffered, but okay. Okay, that's not gonna work, but, um, uh, so yeah, the goal isn't to lag combos. I might do a little bit of power lapping each day. It's some things I should, that are practical that I should do right now. Side B spacing. That's not good. So if I did something like, if I did something like that, oh, I used my double jump. <laughs> I'm probably dead still. Oh no, I'm fine. I should use the uncharged one because it's not that bad. I'm dead. No, I'm alive. Okay. The That's like the tip of where she can recover. Oh, that went a little too low. It's like right before... If you can see Mithra's head, she might be able to recover with an up B. You can't see her, she dies. See? But, um, obviously, random observation off of based off of this stage only among other things and the camera spaces out based on where Byleth is in rel uh, relative location to me but anyways you know basically if you can see here try and not be I'm not gonna be too precise on that it'll just get better with practice uh what else well I mean power doesn't go that far but here she'll die probably oh she lived but here yeah Okay, so two pirates away from the stage is probably where three max. Okay, no, not three. Two. Two. Here. Yeah, she goes nowhere. Especially if you're low. Yeah, if you're low, it's one, like one pyro away. It's like right here at best. Two is like here. I mean, she... Oh, yeah, she goes farther than Mithra, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe slightly. It feels like she goes really far, but that's probably just because she's slower, among other things. Also, I'm pretty sure the uh, B doesn't have a hitbox in front of it, which is tragic. You see that? I mean, this is stuff we should have known early, or at least some of the stuff, some of the stuff we should have known early on. But yeah, there's no, there's just an initial hitbox and the dropping, and the dropping is weak until it hits the ground with that explosion. So I really want to learn to land on stage but not too far because if it if i'm too short i'll grab ledge even if i well yeah that that's okay but if i'm like hold down oh well, hold down if i keep holding on i die that's what i want oh you can move it left and right wait back forward no back forward seems like it's dangerous like you see that? And once I go, watch this, like, once I go back, I can't go forward again, so like, oh wait, I'm, I lied. If it's on the way up, I can, but if it's on the way down, wait, can I hold? Back, forward. I, it's too quick for me to tell. But I mean, no. I need to be Mr. No SD. Nothing, nothing should give me an SD in this game. Okay, that's enough with Pyra for a bit. Li a little lapping with Pyra 
I'll do a couple more things. A little labbing with Pyra will help my movement, just so I don't do the same mistakes. I have to just play play her slower in certain situations. Like there, actually input my dash attacks instead of fat fingering it. I know that people have had that problem. <laughs> that would have been nice. <clears throat> Uh, I tried to dash him. <laughs> Good spacing. She can recover a little lower than that though, so... That was not good. Input it. Nope. That almost killed. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working on my movement, though. Noticing, I keep hearing people saying down down air is safe on shield, and now I'm starting to understand kind of how. Ah, I almost had that. Because you can just space it away. Oh, that was not safe. But like, you see that? And people keep, it's so big that people will, will try to get out around, and they'll just get hit anyway. Like, it's actually very useful. I mean, so her forward air is safe-ish. Well, no, it's too slow. I mean, it's, it can still work, it's just, I don't think it's as good. Down here has, like, covers both sides and the little lag and whatnot. Forward air, in. Up air would be great if you could cover your body, but you see how Violet is doing fine? Ah, uh, I had that read. She's doing fine, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, she was approaching me, like, linearly, like, horizontally. Horizontal. Yeah, but not vertically. If she approached like from the sky, then I could I would have hit her probably, but Oh also I'm trying to break her shield. Dang. Good yeah, I know the spacing on that. That's good, that's good. That's why I lap that. So I don't SD anymore. Whoa! I'm gonna get hit because I do not want my phone doing that. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> the grind is real. Okay, can I get this? Mm -hmm. No, I tried. I was trying to hit her with the spike, but... I'm dead. <laughs> I want my spike. I don't know why I went for a paper grab. That traded? Okay. What I'm actually trying to do is get her to shield. So I can break her shield. I'm pretty sure down smash. Down smash might be my there we go, she shielded. I think down smash is gonna be good for breaking shields, but it's hard it's gonna be hard to get into the computer's shield. Which is special side smash control. I don't like using my second controller, but I might have to. Effort, I left my, what is it, oh, it's the cords and wires under my feet. Okay, I left a, what is this, a pro controller? I left it on by accident, so let's, uh, okay, so I about where, when it hits her neck, shield break, you see that? A concept, so what's a shield break combo? Down air, down smash, see? Now it's, it's just an idea. But. Wait, hold on. Okay, no, that F Smash is actually not that good for that. That's actually like. I should have thought of this before. Oh, wait, what other moves? I think I think that's a true combo. Or oh, actually, I, I'm, I stand corrected. Hold on. She's gonna go too high. You see that? Uh, but it's. It's a. Uh, 
low lag. If it hits shield, like, it's probably true on shield. <laughs> shield pressure that you probably won't want to try to punish. Well, true on shield, it... That's a phrase I just made up, but... That's also probably wrong because her moves are relatively fast, but still might be lacking to where it's not like a true combo. But if someone's afraid of you and they're blocking, then I am very bad at hitting this up there. Okay. I mean... Two hits on okay. but I mean how about up smash whoa that did nothing you see that and then that just pokes okay yeah what pokes does F smash poke nope does down smash poke no up tilt will poke. F tilt will probably no, it doesn't poke. Wow. So wait, how? Three three tilts. Oh, it will poke. Down tilt will poke. Um. Also, her her aerials. I probably should space them because like, look at that. Like, honestly, I full <laughs> space. Wait. Down smash. No, you wanna. You wanna neutral B. Boy. Neutral B? Which is low lag. I was, I was planning on lapping uh, Mithra today, but holy crap, Byron. <laughs> this is the strats. How much does dash attack do? Okay, well. Uh, anyways. Three good hits will break shield. That's not bad. Honestly, like, the fact that <laughs> down, you see, so down smash is her best shield break move because holy crap, that just <laughs> two hits. Um, I don't know why you were spamming jab. Hold up. Okay. That's going to be a little off because I started shielding early. It's hard to get my feet. I'm using my toes to shield. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be shield. Be able to shield this way. My other... How about this? Okay, I can't hit the trigger, but I can hit the shoulder button with my toe, so... My toe's toe too big. Hold on. Um... What was... Darn it. What was I doing? I was trying to space an aerial, I think? And then down smash? Forward air is too slow. Back... Wait. That's okay. I mean... That's, yeah, that's not gonna work. F tilt, F tilt breaks pretty reliably. I only have to hit a couple. Oh. Down tilt isn't good for shield pressure at all. It's, well, it's good for pressure, but it's not good for like breaking. You don't if you're trying if your intention is to break your shield, you probably shouldn't down tilt. Because despite how fast it is and the fact that you can keep swinging it, it does no shield damage. Um, this is just my personal opinion. Like these things are subject to change, but that down tilt does no shield damage. So if you're trying to break, holy crap, it actually broke. But if you're trying to break shield, you probably don't want to down tilt unless you know your shield is exactly here and it'll break. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm just looking at it right now and trying to come up with the optimal spot here. But um, like, so don't take my work for it. Just like this is an observation more than me knowing where things go. But here. But, um, like, there's just so much potential with this. I, I'm not good at spacing back there. Did that just... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold up. Back here does more pressure? Pra back here? If I get a close down smash, oh my freaking, okay, I'm going to start doing this. 
Wait, does it matter what aerial I use? If it, as long as it's not forward. Wait, hold on. This is exciting news, honestly. Why did forward air work? Okay. I've never had a character that could shield break, by the way. That's why I'm so excited. Fox and Mario ain't it. I mean, it's possible for them to shield break, but I've never really seen shield break stuff. I forgot about Nair. Does Nair work? That's gonna be so easy if Nair works. Almost. If I delay it a little bit, I can trick them into holding shield long enough. <laughs> Wait. So, so, so basically, you can't. If I have good. Oh. Hold on. If I have good um, pressure, they um, can't defend. That means I can swing all I want. Oh, she parried. That's a different story. That's totally different. If you got your parries on fleek, there ain't nothing I can do about that. You see how I'm just swinging now? Because I'm confident that if, I, if she shields me, I know what to do. <laughs> and she dodged, which was to her detriment. Uh, I'm not good at catching that. Uh, you, see, you can see I'm kind of in the right space, but... This is so easy now because I'm trying to force her to shield and she isn't. So that means I'm just kidding her. But if the moment she shields, I'm going for a shield break setup. This is so delightful. Oh, you want spikes? I might be. No, I'm fine. Maybe I'll just wait until she shields. Ah. Uh, am I still alive? No. People are gonna wonder. I'm actually gonna start purposefully mashing now. At least the Nair down smash thing. That's so crazy. Uh, yeah, Abby is not going any setups. <laughs> no one's gonna react that fast every time, though. Jump there. I tried to do the footstool thing. It's too slow. How about now? That's not gonna work. Spike? Spike? No. Death? Oh, uh, not, not death like I thought. She, did she know? <laughs> she got hit with it one too many times. She knew. That's a kill because got observed range and the fact that it's slow actually makes it easier to hit because it's like a delayed hit and they fall a little bit more not expecting it just getting hit with that late hitbox i love it even though up air has no end lag so it's actually relatively fast it's got like zero in lag. <clears throat> i should work on my techs honestly my techs are actually very good ask my friends but like I could be better at him. I'm trying. I'm trying. I need to learn two methods. Like teching the normal. Oh my flip. Teching the normal way. Tech on the on landing. Or I heard Mizu King talking about how he holds trigger to, to tech. That's how I used to do it, and I do it sometimes. But you know, Fox is light. So sometimes he gets destroyed. Otherwise, at low percent, I used to do it with Fox. But Daisy, I don't do that at all because she's so floaty that she this is never. You know, you don't. You don't. You're not in tech range, girl. You're just floating out here after, every time you get hit. I don't know how I fast fell. She doing these ad lib combos on me. Oh, oh, oh. I think that combo's down or down smash. Oh, wait, no. She just dodged it. It's fast. So I'm like, does that combo? I'm like trying to figure this out. Everything's placebo to me at this point, so. I'm not saying anything is like definitely true, but that shield pressure thing definitely has potential. I heard about it like today ish. I'm on YouTube freaking out what people are doing. I'm like, shield break? Goes into the lab. Ow. I must say, she is fighting for her life right now. I'm not gonna fight her seriously though, because like, there's just no point. I'm so tryhardy that I usually do the computer seriously, but like, I'm just trying to. <gasps> oh, that was close. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't mean to do that. 
I delayed it because I was trying to get it a shield, but then I was too low to throw a move because pirate hitboxes. But no spike. Block. That one's got me. That's what I was trying to do, but I, I think back away from ledge is going to be my go-to. I should also be working a little bit on my neutral, at least paying attention to what she's doing. Because she keeps doing these... Oh, I didn't meant to F to... Um, she keeps doing these super aggressive options, like... Get of attack or even like red ledge roll, like see. I at least need to pay, always be automatically looking at for these habits. They are caught the roll there. See that? My autopilot needs work. I'm dead. Uh, oh yeah, what's autopilot for this me with this character? I haven't laughed with Pyra enough. It's Pyra Day, I guess. We were sticking with our girl. I was gonna do Mithra, but maybe I'll do that off video. Let's go, Pyra. Okay, so. Uh, my autopilot doesn't exist. A dash attack isn't something I want to use, especially even with Mithra. I don't want to just like autopilot dash attack all the time. But um, when I do it with Fox, it's different because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> since I made him in four, at least I don't play Fox much anymore. But like, it's not like a random dash attack. With Mithra, I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, with Fox, I would, I mean, in this game with Fox, I would dash attack. Like, like it's the old days, but it's a little, it's different. Like, if it was in 4, it's different because it's like, I only dash attack where it's gonna hit or you can't punish me. Because Fox, but hold on. So time to learn how to do that with this character. Mithra's dash attack, or Pyra's dash attack, though strong, is not safe unless spaced. Actually, it's not even safe if spaced, honestly. Unless it hits you or hits your shield, but like time that it's so it's like slow but it's quick enough to punish a roll or something like if you get a read that's what i want and i live let's go you don't want to die when you get them punishes you want to live at least i do you know what i tried to do back here is back here faster wait hold on i need to test this nair down smash Upper down smash. Upper is fast as flip. Forward air is slow. Backer. Wait. Backer down smash. Upper down smash. Okay. I see. It. It's going to be very hard for me to up air this girl's shield. If I do reverse hit up air, she's probably not going to block. Because she's not going to. Oh. She did block. <laughs> huh. I like characters that can reverse up air because it's so, like. You see that? She's not expecting this at all. And people are like that too. Like, you just fall on them and they don't really expect the hitboxes, the delay timing that's kind of difficult to deal with. I'm gonna go a little low here. Yeah, the up air is not, even though up air is good timing wise in terms of how quickly I can down smash, I'm not gonna be able to hit her shield easily in a match, I'm thinking. She worked hard. She air dodged instead of punishing after I bounce. She is not blocking. I read the crap out of that roll. Goodbye. Ah. Uh. Nice exchange. I've been laughing there at the shield. Oh, look, that reminds me. I should use that. No, that's a that's another kill. It's pretty quick. That hit? Okay. That doesn't work. Not with this side of the character. Mithra will work. See, it catches rolls and stuff. Oz backwards. 
Honestly, if I'm like facing this way, I got the turnaround, but I fast fell by accident. I need to work on the turnaround because this this character's a little awkward for me, so I'm not used to it. But actually, no, not the turnaround. To be out of shield, what I do, it's very easy. You just remember, I think I showed you guys before. It's just up and left as fast as I can. It's like hold B, up left, like that. Up left. Yeah, definitely. I think I showed you guys in slow motion. So I can just do that off stage. Uh, it doesn't matter where I'm facing or whatnot. If I just do that, it's very easy. Is without the shield input, you just up and then right. So like up right and yeah. As long as I'm aware of the input, it's gonna take time for that to be autopilot for me. But as long as I'm at least aware of what the input is, it's very easy. It doesn't matter where I am. It's just always input it, even if I'm facing forward, because then that'll give me like instant drift forward, which is nice. I'm a Kirby user. So I know how them sorty uh, bees work, even though Kirby's is really bad. It's like frame 32 or something. It's frame 20 something or frame 30 something. I can't remember. I think it's 32. Which is atrocious. I mean, Pyrus is what? Only frame 12? Look, look at how crazy it kills. You can at least give Kirby a fast one. It doesn't do that much damage. It's like, what, 7? 7 or 12? They might do an okay amount of... She's gone. Okay amount of damage. What else was I supposed to be labbing? Oh yeah, neutral. Hard to lab that in training mode, honestly. Um, oh no, autopilot. Still a little difficult, but um, let's, let's try some autopilot stuff. in place was ill-advised. Nope. I couldn't recover. Will she block an obvious down? That spiked her all the way up the stairs. Well, I guess I got the idea with the spikes. Um, oh, there's something else I need to do. I'm much worse at spacing, at using my tilts with Pyra than with her because if I do them fast, I showed you guys before, I think. Um, if you do them fast, you get her smash attacks, which are strong, but like they're not fast. You do not want to spam those. Your neutral is already bad enough. Her neutral can actually be decent in certain ways, especially since her gigantic projectile that does a million and two percent with footstool, uh, footstool shenanigans, but she is really juggling right now. You see that dash, dash run? When they do that, I'm just like, I'm not gonna bite though. Okay. Uh, yeah, but she's not shielding at all, so. I did bite. Rip. Oh, that's yeah, that's not good. I caught her. I caught her not being able to auto snap in time. I didn't even do anything there because she was just mad at me. But um, yeah, that's something I probably want to. You know, Pyra can kill absurdly early despite like, despite like like not even with the kill power. It's just I caught someone, and like the low percent knockback was enough. Even on Bylus Recover, which is actually relatively good. Autopilot? Is that what I was vibing? Okay, what I want to do... I probably shouldn't swing right away. I have the urge to. Um, obviously, like, it's just fun to hit things, but... As... Yeah, I don't... I can swing like that and try to take advantage of rolls or shield. Uh, maybe I should have... I'm just thinking about my recovery. That's still hit! I did a full hop down here. Hold does that catch all of the ledge options? Like I think I literally hold on. Oh it it covers everything, dude. It covers everything. I should I should especially on tall characters, I probably should just do it. You should just do it. Like, that's so good. I'm alive. Come on. Go to the ledge so I can lap this. I didn't need an F-Smash. That's why I'm tilt testing my tilts. 
Nair is almost as good, too. Holy crap. I mean, I just have to jump Nair. Low lag, right? Or I can go with the more read-based option. How far does this go? And try to cover ledge jump and get up and get up attack with just up air. Although I have to get through to the state to the ledge first. Grab me, please, or do something. Oh, hers is faster. Stop spamming. I'm the one who does that. I'm the one who does that. It's myth 101. She now she's using my own F tilt against me. I should delay the nair a little bit so it lends more because it lingers but not that much. Got lucky on the space step. So I got that grab? I was just okay. Alright. Her grab range is like Smash 4 status. No wonder I keep getting these grabs. Okay. I mean I get a lot of grabs as Mithra already, but Pyra though? Easy ledge uh, coverage. I see how much space that covers. I'm not even working that hard. That's what you want. You want it to be very easy punish. At least have an easy punish for a situation. My timing was bad. I want to do the delay like that. There you go. Get off stage. All right, hold on. It covers a lot of space. She had, she had to be aggressive to hit me. So let, let me see. Nair might have been better because... See? I can drop on her with Nair. And it covers all sorts of jump ranges. She'd have to jump straight up and then around me. Ooh, that, I think that combo. See? She can't get past me. Oh, she did because my timing was slightly off, but... I just went on stage with it. That's not something I want to do too much because I see a lot of people just going for that cheese kill and I've been doing it or I had been doing it but I'm like once people get used to the meta that's not gonna work so I don't want to rely on cheese like that. I mean, like, I might still do it, especially if I have two extra stocks. Like, it works, but it's not good, necessarily, all the time. It's just a, a very silly mix-up for a cheap kill. But, um... I'll, to clarify what I said, when I say it's not good, careful what I, with what I say, but, like... When I say it's not good, I don't mean, like, you can never do it. I just mean, like, you don't want to spam that. Like, that can get very predictable and really end up you getting killed instead of you doing any damage but it'll work so it's like don't totally throw out the idea but only use it if you don't care if you lose a stock that's one of those kind of options which i have plenty of <laughs> and people complain so much the timing uh well i mean i'm so focused on getting that like at least i got it i'm cool with that Wow, it's got aim lag. Yeah, no, I don't think Nair neutral is the wave. I mean, it covers well, but it doesn't land well. Fair is the same deal. I think Fair is actually slightly less or slightly worse than Nair is. Oh shoot. Uh, back air on the other hand, I don't know how to land with, but. It hits below her, but not like right in front of her, so. Oh. That was nice. I should have down smashed. I 
I read that from a mile away. That's a kill. I, did that outrange her with that? Oh, wait. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than I thought. I didn't even know how big that hitbox is. Holy. Also, it's been no, 40 minutes. I'm trying to wrap it up. That's a good spot. Don't forget the spacing. I need her out of the way so I can think. <laughs> About a, no. A, yes, dash length away. Is where my foot is on like the, it was on like the second board that's facing towards the screen here, but third's probably okay. Narrow spacing covers all options. That's that's what my that's where my thought process is at. I was like, look, broken move, no one can do anything about it. Please laugh. That's where my that's always where my head's at. Is that one of the Oh it does hit! My spacing senses! My spacing senses didn't lie now. If it only grazes barely like that, oh, well, that one hit, then I probably don't want to, you know, focus on that. I want spacing that solidly covers to where I can have be a little less accurate and still get a punish. You just want to always punish everything. If you, like, unless you're going for, like, perfect spacing with something that kills, you want a good spacing that covers everything to where you're never going to miss. At least that's my, that's how I would go about it. Now I got to get the girl off the ledge again. Easier said than done. She crossed me up. Oh, footstool. Ah. I was too greedy. Whoa. My turn to F tilt. Please stay on stage. Ah, oh, I missed. It's still pretty good because just because uh, Nair has a bit of lag, you know, th if they roll, then they're not going to be able to insta punish. So, like, as long as, like, you're aware of, like, not timing it too late, like, you don't go too hand to catch anything because then you might do it in the where you can get punished. But I need spacing. I need... Where's the spacing? For this? That was a good idea, but it didn't work. Can't just charge air on me. Honestly, I could just do that. And <laughs> okay. I just waited for it. It didn't kill. That's unfortunate. She spot that. Yeah, but people were talking about this character being a ledge trapping character. I I see it now. I mean, I saw it before, but whole, like. I saw an opening next one of her off the stage. She keeps rolling though. I don't want her to do that every time. I'm trying to lap other options. So at roll distance, she rolled into me anyway. That hit me? Okay. Hey, Violet, thank you ever heard of mixing it up? Dang. Okay. It will cover a lot. But it's I'm so slow getting up there. Oh, is she dead? No, she's fine. Oh, she is dead. Oh no, she's not. Now she's dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was I'm gonna try to stop this at like 45 minutes, but I'm just like, my room's gone dark. I've been just fat fingering this game. Well, fat finger means I messed up, honestly. So let me rephrase that. I've been hammering this game in the lab. Yeah, but that, those those edge setups, that's those things are, I've been good at, except I've never had a character that's just that destructive at the ledge. Like, oh, press this button and it covers everything. Like, huh? You see that? And I can just drop on you with it. So, I can sit here, but cover like that. So, if you did anything, any buttons, like roll, you get hit. I'll smash the cover the oh my flip. That's so good, dude. 
I honestly think I discovered something. I mean, obviously I'm researching in the right places for good information, but like, I think I'm starting to develop a meta with this character. With Pyra, like my worst of the two. Not that she's, I mean, people genuinely agree that Mithra's better, but like Pyra, I think Pyra has potential, honestly. Especially like if you use her where she's strongest. You know, she's strongest with certain setups, projectile range, like her projectile game is actually not bad. Versus certain characters like Kirby is going to have a lot of trouble with this because Kirby can't do anything about it. I don't even know if Kirby can do much about Pyra in general just because her attacks are like 8 times the size of his body. Instant Kirby losing matchup. He didn't block the second one. Oh, computers don't tend to block multi-hits all, all the time. Um, thinking. Just trying to recover. Uh. Okay, so if I have a jump. Okay, if I have a jump. Oh, okay. Oh, this is. I need to lab my recovery. I think I'll do a little pyro recovery labbing and then get off. It's already been 25 minutes. I gotta be quick. So if she has a jump, then an air dodge is probably fine. Well. Unless it clanks like that. But then if it clanks, then I get my upbeat back. So I just have to be aware of where it goes. Oh, I just double jumped. But yeah, if I do it a little lower, still grab. If I go directly up, I'm probably okay. Her air dodge is really good. See that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Dies. <laughs> He's still... The diagonal in this game probably isn't that good. But up... It's honestly like a minor up B. Like, or a fourth of an up B. I was thinking half, but it's not that good. I mean, it's a fourth to maybe a little better than that. Um, I just fell because I couldn't think of anything for a second. Yeah. Oh, I need to figure out where it auto snaps. Probably about here. It needs to be a little lower. Also, if I'm like spaced into the stage like this, yeah. If you if you're at a certain range and you're upy, you're gonna go past the ledge. That's what I don't want because I see a lot of people doing that and they get cheese kills. But um, eventually, that's gonna end up with me getting punished. Like I've probably been punished for that at some point, but like I don't want to like I want to purposefully grab ledge. Like I want to know what I'm doing with that. Um. Here, no. Oh wow, what was that? Hold on. Okay. Okay, I got the turnaround right. I just need to be mindful of how low she can go. Probably, maybe space it a little higher than with Mithra, honestly, because despite her, I think she goes further, but it's faster and it auto snaps really good, better than Mithra's, because Mithra will want to do the shot. So I would say go, at least I, I, that's what I'm seeing. And that's what I think I'm seeing anyways. I think it's better auto snapping. So you might as well just do it a little closer just here because the auto snap, it's fast. People aren't going to be able to punish as fast as long as you mindful that you don't do it where they can attack you, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, if they can't, yeah, that might be safer than waiting and trying to go from the bottom. First of all, you might fall and die. Second of all, it just takes longer from the bottom than it does from, say, here. If you do from here, you're going to overshoot the ledge. Thinking out loud. Um, I'm very bad with the air dodge recovery, so I need to work on that a little bit more. Honestly? Well, not very bad. It's just I keep messing up. And people, other people do it, too. But it's just like, nah, I'm Mr. No SD. I literally, like, the fact that I SD in this game is so jarring to me. I mean, direct air dodging off stage because of buffer, that's, the, everyone has that, right? That's different. But, like, just SD normally, I don't SD with Fox. I don't. I SD with Mario a little bit because I overshoot more in this game than before. But, like, I'm not used to that because I labbed it out. So, I'm labbing it out now, bruh. Like, Kirby, Kirby, um, I was a little more careless because I was confident in that character. You know, first main, so it's just, like. I didn't really care because I usually, you know, 
I would try to I'd be like at max range and be like just loosely trying and then fall. That's that's a that's a whole nother mindset. That's never this you being stupid, but <laughs> that's you just being that's me being lazy instead of like properly being mindful of where the spacing is. Um, I'm talking too much. Okay, good. I noticed that it bounced off, so I didn't air dodge. Because if I try to air dodge and it bounces, you know, I could mess up. Okay, I think I got it. I'm trying to recover with Tyra. Oh. I tried it here. She got that spike. She got it. You got it, girl. You can't out, you can't out there. Out here. I mean, you can, but it's going to be a mess trying to recover from that. There's one more thing I neglected to try. I'm really good at ledge trumps. I had no jump, apparently. Um, but <laughs> I'm really good at ledge trumps. Or at least I was in 4. Everything was in 4. I need to do it in this game. I mean, I can still do them. It's just... Oh. Well, it might take a little bit more work than that. See? There it goes. Instant ledge trump with just the thumbstick in part. I go, like, quarter circle and then I go up. So I go, like... I go, look at my shield, I go right here, I would be like right all the way down then up. So like a circle starting from right, straight right input, then circle all the way down and then left and then I go up. Which seems to, I don't know exactly why that works but that's, that's what I do. Actually maybe, is it up or is it back, like am I going left all the way down and then to the right, is it up? Or is it to the right? I think it's quarter circle. I think it's just a half circle, essentially. Hopefully you guys understand. No, I'm definitely trying to put up, but I don't know if it's... I don't think my thumbstick's going all the way. It's definitely not going all the way to the top. It's just like maybe a little past, right? Maybe up-ish di diagonal. So like left, down, all the way, right, then diagonal-ish. I'm so used to it. Um... That's very, it's hard to even tell what I'm doing. I mean, I still, I still have the old method for raw back air, like, ingrained in my fingers. I can still do it even after all these years, so it's like, well, it's only been, like, two years, but. But the reason I'm laughing Let's Trump is because it's a decent option, and no one does it, so it's kind of unexpected. And if I'm, like, if I'm at, like, two stocks up, I need my other skills to come out and to trick people, get easy kills, that's what I want. Or at least try them to figure out how viable they are. Like, try them in matches with people who I'm labbing with to figure out how well they'll work against the human brain. This girl is trying to break my shield. She's like, payback. I can't get there in time. I'll just do that. Yeah, out of there. She rolled to cancel it. Unfortunate. That's why I didn't... I tried to take that. That's why I didn't have much faith in it in this game. Because it's so easy to roll cancel. You can still do it. I actually back at her shield. I should have tried it. That's nice. I know that recovery now. She is doing mix up combos on me. just rolled in for that, didn't you? Who's going to die? It might be me. I got this recovery. Oh, what? Wait. Wait a minute. I definitely air dodged, but um, if I... That was odd. If I... Because I, I jumped forward and I air dodged. Like, I hard press trigger, like... I pressed it all the way down and it didn't work. But if I do this, hold on. If I just hold the trigger button, it's gonna buffer. So like, if somehow I just did it too early or something, that could have been anything. I don't know what that was, but um, oh, it's running on an hour. Didn't mean for that to happen. Sorry guys. I think you guys enjoy these videos, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's uh fun to watch me lab for an hour but um let's trump i'm pretty good at let's trump already i i um 
Mithra probably has some other shenanigans with Ledge Trump. I think she actually has like Ledge Trumps. Like I think she can true combo Ledge Trump to side B, but I haven't lapped that. I've seen people do it. Oh yeah, that one. There we go. Dra back away from Ledge. Side B. I'm pretty sure that true combos. Although it will you will die. Like this is a this is a suicide attack. Back away from ledge. And it's a little. I have to make sure to hard input everything just to make sure I don't mess up. It's one of them strats. But anyways, thank you guys <laughs> for watching uh, my laughing. I think I'll get off now. It's way dark in my room. I didn't turn the light on. I've just been laughing at I am having so much fun. Oh, and I need to be aware. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see how laggy that is. So if I do that, I should just, you know, be mindful I can't do anything else. I'll do a little bit more fighting and just space out just to make sure, like, I'm inputting the dash attack specifically. And my tilts too. That that was a tilt. That was too slow. But the point is that I'm inputting it right. Um, oh, that, that was wrong. You don't want to smash tag in that situation. It, it would have probably killed her if it hit. And usually it does hit on Wi-Fi when I do that. But I'm trying to tilt. The tilt will kill just as well. Except it's faster. Oh. Throw in. Guess not. Uh, I read the air dodge back. Okay, let me stop trying to... Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> Nice. I was expecting her to do that this entire time because I hadn't been air dodging. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is space and then dash attack. Which if I... That didn't look like a spot where I'd be able to hit her necessarily. But if I recognize it, then I'll input it right. That's why I'm doing this. Goodbye. Um, Honestly, Nova, the Nova neutral, Nova neutral. It's got like no impact. This way. It's how much damage does it do? Just twelve without charge. It looks like it's 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 cool, but it's not that good for spamming. It's 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 a good mix-up movement. Oh, oh, I tried to take that, but that was yeah. That was odd. There you go. That's what I want. To be able to input. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that, so I'll be too early. I was not in the range. She got back through me. That, that. Crazy. Uh, It's about to be an hour. I might as well play out the hour. It's kind of... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, lights on in the room. It's so dark because my eyes were starting to hurt looking at the screen. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's only 7, but... Actually, it was getting dark at 5 till, till the time change happened. This time I will cover right. Tried something. Ah, uh, I tried to dodge it. That was a little bit ballsy of me. That's probably gonna... Ooh! Well, I would have died. Ah, oh, I tried to do the thing. I fell. Okay, anyways. Now, I will go for a switch shenanigans some other time, I guess. Stand for combo. Um, what was I trying to do? Recover? No. Oh, space my moves, right? Is it, it, not space, but... um not buffer f smash pretty much <laughs> every 50 seconds me trying to use a tilt i don't seem to be buffering up smash too much for some reason but oh that's because i don't that's because i know up tilt isn't always like i think f tilt's gonna be a little bit more practical than up tilt sometimes because if i hit the back hit of up tilt or no the front hit it's slower than just a simple f tilt would be most likely it does have its uses though down tilt yeah, you're not gonna as pirate you're not gonna like run away down to too much i guess it's it is an option like if i just i 
I literally just held jab. Um, I did the temp, but she's way too slow to do what Mithra does. That was a dash attack. I did it too fast. It's like my my timing is good in terms of attacking something where there's a um, a punish window, but my I'm not inputting like the move because I'm doing it too fast and the input changes to smash attack or something. So I need to just learn to always input it slow. If I'm trying to dash attack, yeah, I got hit because I was inputting it right. That's fine. I just need to learn where to hit certain things because it's not I'm not gonna be able to dash attack any faster she just is too slow which is okay because some of her moves have no lag so it's like she's got like fair frame data some so sometimes sometimes she's slow like she's supposed to be most of the time she's actually a little too fast probably for this for being this strong she might be busted strong but anyone ever wonder like people be saying like oh these characters Ganon whatnot are bad right and then like they be killing that 30 with smash attack i'm like hold up <laughs> i'm like then pyra comes in and is like yo 20 percent mid and i'm like okay hold up and i'm attached to sword cheek with a laser <laughs> i'm like okay the laser isn't that amazing but i can do things like that did you see that that had good aim though. okay I, do i know the aim of that i haven't laughed at all i should laugh my aim kind of the aim sorry pilot Watch me force at that. I don't think it's that good to spam it too much, but I do think it is an option you want to use sometimes. There are circumstances you want to use the laser because, like, if it's Little Mac and you get that one shot, you know. Oh, I'm wrong character. I tried to shoot just now. What was I trying to do? Space without messing up? Yeah. That's it. I need to give myself a break. Because I'm playing... I'm already playing way better with Pirate. By playing better, I mean... I'm inputting things I need to do. I'm up being and knowing where I can grab ledge at least. It might be a little while before I always get the perfect spacing I need in the situation to grab ledge. But my ledge mechanics are good. I'm inputting dash attack and not have smash. At least half the... Most of the time. That'll, that'll come with practice. Once I get annoyed that F smashes online too much, I'll probably input it better after a while. So that'll that'll buff right out on its own. Uh, I need a lab dash dancing just because I'm a little rusty on that. I can do it in four, but in this game, it's like... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I mean, I could do it the easy way and use my right hand and just use my palm to do it, but... If I'm warmed up from matches, sometimes I can just input it, and then other times, I'm like like now, it's like 7 o'clock. It's like 7.13 my time, and I'm just like tired, so it doesn't come out. I think that's interesting. It never used to happen, though. I used to always input it, and now it's just like hard in this game. Despite like regular dash dancing, it's just easy now, but yeah. I have always like, hopefully it doesn't get annoying that I talk about Smash 4. I think, I, I think that phrase right there, hopefully it doesn't get annoying that I talk about Smash 4. I hope that phrase or not no no no. i think that phrase is like said like every other video but now i'm just like i'm like was this in the previous game i'm like what is this new nonsense not to mention that there's one more thing i'll do i haven't been laughing foresight which i mean busted mechanic of course i want to lab it but i mean as much as I've heard even like notable people talk about like look just spam roll, I'm not getting it. See that? Did, did you see that purple spark? Was that because I almost got it or something? That is too slow for this. There we go. I just need to let me hit it three times and then I think I'll stop. I just want to be make sure that I um I'll do three I'll do three four sights and one character swap dodge because I need I want to be able to use the character's mechanics to my advantage ah. I mean I can just 
wait till she multi hits. Oh, I didn't mean to parry that. She's probably not gonna multi hit my shield though. I mean, I dodged it. Yeah, as long as I'm like, as long as I'm aware, this is gonna take a second. I'm gonna fight her a little bit. I didn't get the good hitbox, so that would have been a lot more damage. There, oh. Wait, why am I fighting her? <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting foresight. I was like, I was just gonna fight her a little bit, and then I started kicking her behind. I'm like, wait a minute. You have to be very precise. I want the ultimate punish like that. You see that 24%? That's good. That's a two hit, two, two hitter I've been working on. Eventually, I want her combo game to at least be like 1.5 times as hard as that. At least. I want to push this character to its limit with that. Um, oh my. Flip the, air, the edge guard. Okay. <laughs> I was. Yeah. My autopilot's probably. It's getting better on its own. I don't have to worry too much about autopilot. What else? I got it twice. Two times is enough. I'm gonna just need to. It's gonna be impossible to react on Wi Fi anyway. So, I, once online or offline comes back, then maybe I'll just have to do more timing, lapping. I just have to get good and ignore the one mechanic I can't do online. I mean, there's a lot of things you can't do online. But, anyways, don't take online seriously, guys. Uh, using character swap as a dodge mechanic. This is no. She's not attacking at all. There's no punishment. There's no penalty for spamming air dodge. I got hit, but like. Just focus on using Nair as a get off me, I guess, with both characters. Even though I wouldn't necessarily focus on landing Nair, landing with Nair as Mithra, because if you try to fall like. This, I constantly get hit out of that because it's a dagger hitbox. <laughs> it's so small. People get just like normal up air through it. I'm like, huh? But like, she's fast enough that she doesn't need a landing attack. But yeah, she doesn't really have much to cover below except down air, which is the laggiest to me. It's Mithra's laggiest. It will get me hit by multi hits though. Yeah, it's gonna be it's hard for me to react to that at point blowing. I pressed it. Uh. It's instead of trying to predict what she should do or what she's doing. Getting swapped there. Did that true combo? Does it? Uh, I did swap, but I got hit by the tail end of it. That's why I gotta be careful. But if if a character has like one hitter so often, then I can just use the swap mechanic. Especially if I want to swap for some reason. I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm tired. All right, guys. Oh, I gotta upload this today because I didn't upload today. Dang it. <laughs> I was, felt like I was recording for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to have, like, more stuff out for you guys. Uh, I do want to finish Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I don't know if that will be done this week. It's not, I'm not being lazy, you guys. It's just, like, <laughs> there's a difference between an hour of me laughing and an hour of me doing something that, like, <laughs> excuses. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's just, like, this video is just, like, kind of easy. I talk and just play, and the other one is, like, I hope people understand that I'm like performing, but like it just takes a lot more energy to set like something else up than this. And this is a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out this character, but um, yeah, I thought it'd be interesting. Um, lapping 
I should probably pick a different stage, huh? I like the stage though. I like the song. <laughs> you can't make me. But yeah, I don't know. If anyone has any song requests, let me know or something. But anyways, um, yeah, that will do it for today. Long video. Thank you guys for always watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. And oh, one more thing. I Like, I'm always doing one more thing, but I still haven't forgotten to give you guys a name. I need name suggestions, guys. Help, please. <laughs> I want something cool. And then we could always change it later till we find something cooler. But anyways, I will see you all next time. Peace out, guys. Stay awesome. And stay safe. I can't leave home either. <laughs> Be safe. Love you guys.